Hey, my name is Luis and I'm gonna teach you how to work on cars one part at a time. Today I'm gonna teach you guys how to replace your spare tire. A lot of the followers on TikTok told me I needed to explain my things better, but you know, there's so much you can do in one minute, so here we go. You're gonna start off by removing the carpet and trying to find this plastic retainer. What you're gonna do is remove it by going counterclockwise, just like you would any other nut, and then remove the carpet. Now, as you can see, the spare tire is exposed and it has this metal retainer right in the middle of it. What you're gonna wanna do is do the same thing. Move it counterclockwise and loosen it up until it completely comes out. Once it comes completely off, take off that little plastic cover and now you can remove the tire completely. You will see exposed are the tools necessary to remove your tire. In this little toolkit, you'll find a tire iron or a lug wrench, whatever you want to call it. As you can see, I completely fell trying to take off this little styrofoam piece, but you don't really need it. It just holds this scissor jack. And I'll show you how the scissor jack works here in a little bit. It's not that hard to use. Yes, these wheels have seen better days, but we're gonna have to take off the lug nuts and in order to do that, I have to take out the dust cover. There's that little keyhole, just jam the tire iron in there and pop it out. You can use a flathead or whatever you want. Now on this particular model, it has a plastic hubcap and this plastic hubcap has plastic lug nuts that go onto it. And we're gonna have to remove these in order for the wheel to come off. Now these are really easy to remove because they are plastic. You just gotta loosen them a little bit and then you can loosen them by hand. Now something to note, these plastic lug nuts do not come off. They kinda spin in place. So you're gonna wanna loosen them as much as you can and then the hubcap will come right off. Well, that's because it's a little damaged on other hubcaps. They're kind of pressed in, so you're gonna just have to pry it out if it doesn't come off that easy. What I wanted to highlight here is the threads on the outside of these lug nuts. This is what the plastic lug nuts on the hubcap are able to thread into. Now it's time to remove the lug nuts. And unfortunately, if they have been sitting for a while or they've never been removed, it's gonna be pretty hard to take off. And don't worry, you don't need big muscles to take them off. I'll show you a different way. Give it an old fashioned jump. Make sure you're going the right direction so you don't mess this up and make sure the tire iron is flush on the nut or else you could cause some stripping. I prefer using a breaker bar, but we're assuming that we're stranded on the side of the street and that's not an option. And you're gonna wanna remove these lug nuts in a star pattern. You don't have to loosen it all the way, you just need to loosen it to the point where you can loosen it by hand. Now to lift the car, you're gonna make sure you wanna lift it from the right spot. You wanna go underneath the car and look for the little notch. And that's a designated lift point for this particular model. To raise the scissor jack, you're going to want to go clockwise. It's basically like tightening a bolt. This takes a little while. For this one in particular, you really don't need any strength. You just have to have some patience, wait for it to go up. Now when you're close, make sure you're at the jack point. You're gonna wanna keep raising it until the tire is barely off the ground and make sure you don't put any body parts underneath the car. This should be used in emergencies only. I really wouldn't recommend using one of these to work on your car. And then again, it's kinda of surprising how it is easy it is to lift your car just with this little device. But there we go. Since we did most of the loosening while it was on the ground, now it's going to be pretty easy to loosen these. You can basically do them by hand. Now, luckily with this wheel, as soon as we take off the lug nuts, it comes off pretty easy. Some are rusted on, 
And what you have to do in that case is just kick it as hard as you can and it'll come off. Don't worry, you won't hurt anything. If anything, the car will hurt you. Now time to put the spare. As you can notice, it's relatively smaller. Don't go racing in these tires. They're not meant to handle the same speeds your regular tires are. Now you're going to want to tighten the lug nuts in a star-like pattern. The reason you do this is because you don't want the tire to go in cockeyed. If for whatever reason it's at an angle and then you try to tighten that one side, you might be able to strip some of the, the studs and that's not going to be fun. Now you're going to want to tighten it to make sure there's no play back and forth so when you lower the car it will be easier to tighten. Now for the fun part, just go counterclockwise until the car is lowered back to its original height. Yes, this takes a while but just be patient. And sorry if the music sucks, uh, I don't want to have any copyright issues. So if you guys know any good places to get some music for YouTube videos, please let me know. And now that it's lowered, make sure you tighten again in a star-like pattern. Make sure they're on there pretty tight because you don't want this falling off. If this video helped you out, please give me a, a like and subscribe so I can post more content like this. And we can grow this page together.